interested. Okay. We're gonna get started. Um, okay. I'm just gonna reach over and grab something random. I'll, I'll do this stuff in my thumbnail first, because who knows, maybe there's a chance you clicked the thumbnail because you saw something in it. Okay, so the first thing is this shampoo. This is Brixie shampoo. It's mint eucalyptus is the one, or is what I use. It is a shampoo bar. It's a shampoo bar. It's a shampoo bar. I just bought two yesterday. This is the one I haven't opened yet, but I'll tap on the actual bar for you. for years now, years now, years now. I used one from, that I found on Amazon. It was like the number one bestseller. Um, and then I decided I didn't want to use that one anymore. Then I used the brand Hybar, H-I-B-A-R for a while. But when I was at Trader Joe's getting one of my Hybar bars, I decided to try this one. It was right next to it in my store. And I love it. It suds up so well. It's very similar to the high bar one, I feel like, but it suds up a little bit more, I feel like. Uh, but I love shampoo bars, and I love this shampoo bar. I highly recommend trying it. I'm sure you can order it on Amazon also. And it's um, plastic-free, balm oil-free, um, vegan, cruelty-free. Um, and I don't know if that means anything, but anyways. Love this shampoo bar. I like it enough to where I don't think I'm ever going to actively search for a new one to fall in love with, so... I guess. 
spray my ends in mids, mids, mids and ends. Anyways, love this. It has also really helped with my hair being very dead. Okay. Also, not sponsored by anything. I feel like that's kind of a given, um, but it's not sponsored by anything. These are just products that I truly love and will, will every single product I show you, I will repurchase again with my own money. So, if I haven't already repurchased it. Um, okay. Okay. So, next. Oh, wait. I have one more hair product. This is a jar. Mixed with, or in it, inside it has um, cornstarch and cocoa powder. Cocoa powder, cocoa powder. And then I use a makeup brush. Um, and I dab in my hair when I want dry shampoo, dry shampoo, dry shampoo. So I dip it in like barely, it just like barely touches the powder that I knock all the excess off. And I, I, I never like say my, say my fingers are a makeup brush. I never go like this. I'll always go on the sides because it kind of cakes on, you know, if you put it like straight on your scalp. And then I go next section and do it again. Next section. Okay. We're making a mess and then I'll just go like th this on the sides but I love it I it has worked better than any other shampoo I've ever used but I've also never used it bougie shampoos but I can guarantee you that your favorite shampoo isn't as cheap as this so and it lasts me forever so I'm pretty sure this was in my last favorites video I only sometimes use it on my third day before I wash my hair. I don't even use that much. Okay. Um, okay, what I was going to do before. Melatonin. I know there are a lot of melatonin haters in the world. Um, because they don't want to have to rely on something to sleep. Or they just hate it. Um, but I am currently on spironolactone for my acne. It's a, it's a pill. It's an oral medication. Um, and one of the side effects, or the side effects can be like insomnia and, um, I don't know, just not being able to go to sleep. Nightmares. Not nightmares, but increased anxiety, which is translated to nightmares for me. Um, and then I, I think I'm just very sensitive to medicine and I've had a lot of side effects from it, but nothing that like actually makes my life worse. Um, not for real at least, but because I've been having a hard time going to sleep, probably because of the spironolactone, I've been using melatonin. Um, once I stop taking the spironolactone, I'm sure I won't use it anymore, but melatonin's always worked well for me and it's been something that helps me. Something really ironic um, is that I have a terrible, terrible, terrible sleep schedule even when I'm not taking medication that makes me sleep worse. Um, I know ASMR artists seem like they would value sleep a lot, but we all actually have terrible sleep schedules. Um, some people do it or have terrible sleep schedules because they are up all hours of the night going live for you guys or filming um, or editing for me. I think I just act, I just accidentally have a really bad sleep schedule. Um, it's just the way I am. I've always been a, a night owl, night owl, night owl, night owl. And that helps me go to sleep at a reasonable time. my 
digital camera. It is one of my favorite purchases that I have ever made. Um, I don't know. I know it's very teenager, teenage girl of me to have a digital camera, but the pictures are just Um, 
sure if these were handmade by someone. I found them at Goodwill. Um, they were sitting on the end of a rack, like somebody had to have been holding them and put them back. Hopefully, well, I don't care if I stole them from somebody, like if they were saving it for later. These are my favorite pants in the entire world. I... <clears throat> they're perfect. I love these pants. Um, there is so much wrong with them, but nothing wrong with them at all. They are like kind of velvet but like it's not velvet um but it's like a sim <laughs> it's not similar to velvet i don't know but they're this soft fabric this is the front of them the main reason on top of the fact that there's no tags or anything that i think it's handmade is because like this is like bright green thread um and there's no tags um i don't know they just seem made to me. Um, there's a few strings out, and then there was some fraying of, like, stuff at the top, and it was so itchy, but I needed to be able to wear these still. Um, and so I went, when I was getting some clothes altered, I asked them if, you, if they could just throw fabric that somewhat matched over top so I could still wear them without itching, and they did. They're my favorite pants in the world. They also had a bunch of tears on the inside, like this part was like torn off on a few spots. It still has a little tiny hole. Um, down here at the bottom, there are like multiple places, there, I think there still is one where like this part wasn't connected and I asked them if they could fix it. I don't think they saw all of the holes, but they did get what I asked them to do. Um, and so they're wearable. Again, these are my favorite pants in the whole world, though. Okay. Uh, this is sitting here. I think it was an accident that I was in. But I just got a Patagonia fanny pack. Um, just because I'm going to be traveling here soon. And I would like to have something instead of having to carry my purse around. But I've been liking having a fanny pack. Um, I also love Patagonia. Wonderful brand. Um, so I got a little fanny pack. Um, but that was just sitting there um, on my bed. This one that I'm going to spend a two seconds on. Cold Blue Gatorade. It's empty because I love it. Um, I have been drinking the crap out of Cold Blue Gatorade um, lately. I love all of these things. This is Binoxyl. Um, the day that I am able to stop using this, I will. If, I'm, if, if my face gets to a point where acne is just like, I'm keeping up with it. I don't need to t like a bunch of active ingredients. Like if I ever get to that point, I'll be glad to stop using this just because I don't want to have to use active like pencil peroxide forever if I don't have to because so this this is a, a pencil peroxide face wash I use it in the mornings my dermatologist told me to use it in the mornings so I can use tretinoin at night um because you can't mix the two so I use this in the morning but if I use this in the morning I'm not able to use like vitamin c in the morning but like I want to be able to use vitamin c in the morning so whenever I can stop using this I will I guess vitamin C is also an active ingredient. Anyways, I just, I don't know, there's certain ingredients that I want to be able to use, but I can't while I'm using this. Um, anyways, I use the 4% on my face in the morning. I wash my face for at least a minute, and then I rinse it all out, or rinse it all off, all off, all off. This does wonders for my skin. I know I've got some breakouts right now, but otherwise, like, it does wonders for my skin after using it consistently for a while. I've used it in the past. Amazing face wash, but if you decide to use it, you do your research on what products you're already using, if any. Make sure you're not using something that you can't with benzoyl peroxide. Okay. Um, we're gonna stay in the skincare realm. I use this at night. This is the Anua... I don't know if that's how you say it, heart leaf, um, pore controlling, pore control cleanser.
cleansing oil. Um, I use this cleansing oil. It doesn't really even have to be this one, but I have been loving double cleansing. Um, what I do is I pump some in my hands and I rub it into my face on a dry face for at least a minute, but two minutes usually I try to rub it into my face, small circular motions, um, and it'll help clear out your pores kind of. Um, sometimes you can literally like feel stuff coming out and then depending on how much is in there obviously and then I get my hands wet and then I rub it in for another minute after it emulsifies, emulsifies, emulsifies and then I wash it all off and then I use a foam cleanser after but double cleansing but I in general I love really like this oil cleanser oil cleanser oil cleanser water. It's pure rose water. Um, I bought it from Amazon just because I don't know where in the world around here is going to sell pure rose water. Um, like ingredients. Rose water. It Right there, right there. Um, what I do is I put this in a little spray bottle and I spray my face to dampen it before I do my skincare every day. Um, you can use normal water. You can use grape water. Um, but I don't know. Oh, I saw a lot of people saying rose water is really good. It hydrates my face. I don't know if it's that special compared to just hydrating your face in the first place. Um, but I like it. I'll keep using it. Maybe it's a placebo effect thing and I just think it's doing something and I extra hydrating, but I like it. Um, skincare will seep into your skin better, absorb better on damp skin. So I spray it. Sometimes I spray the rose water between like almost all of my skincare steps depending on what the step is. Okay. Um, skincare realm still. I really like this serum. This is the Centella Unscented Serum by Purito. It's got niacinamide and um, Centella Asiatica. Is that how you say it? Asiatica. That's what it looks Yeah. Centella Asiatica and niacinamide and ceramides and peptides. Um, ceramides are just a really great um, ingredient for making your pores appear less big. Um, I don't know. I really like it. My eye not many skincare products where I'm like, oh my gosh, this makes my skin so much better, but my skin looks like glass skin after I get done using it. So, love this serum. It's also pretty gentle, I'm pretty sure. I think most skin, skin types can use it. Um, I don't know. I love it though. Some 
that you should be putting on should be two finger lengths. So like a line on one finger, a line on another finger. Um, and that's how much you should be using on your face. And it's hard to use the pump. But what I did was I just, I did pump, 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 pump. And it equaled four pumps. So I just do four pumps on my hand. I don't know, easy math. You don't have to do the finger thing every time as long as you're using the same amount as you would. Or at least the two finger rule is like what makes it easier for a lot of people to know how much sunscreen is about, right? Love the sunscreen. Okay. One more skincare product. I won't talk about this a lot. This is the Good Light New, New Moon Balm. When I pick my skin, even though I try not to, when I pick my skin, um, I take a tiny bit of this and I put it on top of place that I picked and it just maybe maybe it's a placebo effect thing but I feel like it heals so much faster I don't know you shouldn't pick your skin if you can try if you, if you cannot but if you're going to I like this a lot um, a lot okay now I got a lot of compliments on my eyelashes yesterday it is 9 30 at night and I have done a lot today, so this is not peak mascara for me. Um, it's obviously going to look the best in the morning, but I don't know. It does, this doesn't do my lashes justice. I'm not trying to be like arrogant or cocky, but I've gotten some pretty long lashes and I love my lashes now. They're just not doing it justice right now, but I got my lashes where I wanted, want them to be with the lash um serum i used this every single morning and every single night um for a while until i got to the length i want um now if they get longer i would love that but i'm i don't need to be using this every single morning and every single night so now i use the conditioner the enhancing conditioner in the mornings and then this at night still um Now, a lot of people with eyelash serums have side effects um, from the ingredients and have like under their eyes get red and whatnot, but I don't have that problem. It just lengthens my lashes, so love these. This is the skin tint I use. It's kind of dirty. Don't, don't mind. It's the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. You should never use just a tinted sunscreen. Um, I mean, you can use a tinted sunscreen, but I wouldn't use, like, just, um, I wouldn't use just a skin tint that has SPF in it. Um, I would also just use a sunscreen as well. Um, I love this. The shade doesn't really matter um, because you guys aren't going to be the exact same shade as me most likely, but I use shade 13 for my skin. I have it on right now. This skin tint just mostly looks like skin. It's not full coverage like a lot of foundations, and so like it's not going to just like cover up my acne, but it did like if I could show you exactly what my skin looks with and without it, you guys would be able to tell a huge difference. And it doesn't look cakey or anything. I use a beauty blender to apply it. I don't like using a, a, a brush to apply it. Um, this is my favorite mascara. I probably should have discussed this before. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. They changed their packaging, by the way, um, to be better for the environment. But... Like I said, this isn't doing my lashes justice when it's prime lash, but I love this mascara. It literally, every, th every single thing that I want in a mascara, this mascara has. It's kind of expensive, but I'll always say this. Ilya can take my money every single time. I will pay the $28 for this mascara because it is perfect for me. Um, obviously not everything works for everyone, but I love this mascara. Um, I don't know. This is what the, the wand looks like. It's got some stuff on there, but this is, like, this side's for lengthening, and then the rest is for just, like, volume. Um, it's not waterproof, but that's, I like that about it. Last thing. 
this is the deodorant I use every single day. Um, it's not a popular deodorant that I've seen a lot of places, but it is the, the certain dry everyday clinical um, antiperspirant. I know a lot of people have a lot of problems with antiperspirants, but 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 it works really well for me. I was using Carpe for a while, but Carpe was way too expensive and lasted me two weeks tops. Um, especially if you use it morning and night like the directions say I do. Um, I'm a sweaty person, I'm not gonna lie. I am a huge sweater. One, one reason I don't wear tight-fitting clothes is because I have always had such a huge problem with sweating. Um, and this always made me sweat, and I don't want this. I can't guarantee that it'll work for you. Um, but I love this. Um, they have a roll-on, um, like it's like a liquid, um, that you can use, like, at night or mornings. It's really, really, really drying. But it works. Um, but I prefer not doing that and doing it this just once a day in the morning. And that is it. 35 minutes. I knew it was going to be a while when I sat, when I started throwing stuff on my bed. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you use any of the things and you love them or if you hate them or if I inspired you to purchase something. Now, I am all about not buying things you don't need. Um, but if there's something that you actually want and will use, um, and you're not buying it just for the hell of it, like if you are looking for a new blush, or if you, like, really want, like, the Rare Beauty blush, or you've been looking for a good sunscreen, or, I don't know, you've been looking to upgrade your skincare or whatever, let me know. Don't buy things just for the hell of it. I, I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed, 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 enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed, 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 enjoyed. Love, 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 love